Okay, here we have a condensing unit for a residential AC system. It's a heat controller incorporated out of Jackson, Michigan. Mm. Um, but what we got going on, no compressor. Compressor is from 03. Appears to be from 03 there. Yeah, there you go. And the condenser fan motor isn't running. Uh, but it is hot. And the contactor is pulled in. And the little dimple on the cap looks like it's popped. I'm, I'm going to go out on the limb and say we have a bad capacitor, but I've got to check it before I do anything. All right. There you go. And we have this wire that broke off of the PTR, which is right here. I suppose we can get around that if we have to. All it's going to do is drop out uh, voltage to the uh, start windings. But let's see if I can't replace that too. So I gotta check that cap. Alright, just as I suspect, suspected, you can see it there. It says Hermetic right there. This one right here. And it says fan on this one. So it pretty much that makes this one the comment. So um, yeah, I kind of expected that. And you can tell it looks like it's popped up in the middle. So let's let's get to it. All right, folks. Now that I've got the capacitor off, you can see right here at the bottom. It's all. It's all rounded and top's all blown out. So what we gotta do is go from common, which is this one right here, to hermetic and see if we get 35. All right. Now, this one is common right here. Right? Right. This one is fan. I should get like 7.5 and I'm getting nothing. Okay. All right. The customer says that he can make the fan run by spinning it. So, okay. Now that's for the compressor. That capacitor is shot. All right, new capacitors in place. H for hermetic, uh, F for fan, and those are the two commons. Now, if I've done my job right, this thing should start. Never mind, get in there. Can't see what I'm doing here. reading the compressor and the condenser pan motor. Ah, I need the compressor. I need the compressor. 
pressure only. There you go. One AC restored to normal. <laughs> but that's why you always ask to see the capacitor on your condensing unit. Always, folks. Always. You can't stress that enough. You need to be able to see the capacitor so you can make a reasonable judgment as to whether or not you replace the unit or just have it fixed. In this case, that was just a capacitor. the capacitor. The capacitor has oil in it. The oil becomes acidic over time. And uh, then the capacitor turns from a capacitor into a resistor. And eventually it pops. Uh, and that's why you have to replace those. So, yeah, always ask to see the capacitor. 